Hello everyone, this is Preeti. We are here with the another question of exercise 9.1, page number 182, question number 4. Draw the number line and represent the following rational numbers on it. There are the four rational numbers given to us. We have to express this one on the number line. So start with the first one. We are having 3 by 4. So the number line is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. Now I have to represent 3 by 4. Now so as we have this is the numerator this is smaller than the denominator. So 4 is greater than 3 is the smaller that means numerator is smaller and the denominator is bigger. So this is a proper fraction. So proper fraction lies between 0 and 1. Now if this one lies between 0 and 1. So I am going to write here this is the 0 and this is the 1. Now for the 1 I am having 4 in the denominator. So for this 1 I can write it as 4 by 4. So if I am going to subtract it 4 1s are 4, 4 1s are 4 then we have the value 1. So for this 1 at the place of this I am writing it as 4 by 4. So if this 1 is the 4 by 4 then I can write here 1 by 4, 2 by 4 and 3 by 4. So this is the number 3 by 4. So this is the 3 by 4 on the number line. So this is the part 1. Now in the part 2 we are having minus 5 by 8. So the numerator is 5 and the denominator is 8. So denominator is greater than the numerator. So this is a proper fraction. Now in the proper fraction lies between 0 and 1. Now this is minus 5. So I am going to put this negative sign to the 1. So the now number will lie between 0 and minus 1 because the number is of the negative. So this is 0 and this is minus 1. So at the place of minus 1 I can write it as minus 8 by 8. So now if I am going to divide it by the 8 then I am going to get the value minus 1. So this one represent minus 8 by 8. Now minus 7 by 8, minus 6 by 8, minus 5 by 8, minus 4 by 8, minus 3 by 8, minus 2 by 8 and this one is the minus 1 by 8. Now we have to represent minus 5 by 8. So this is the minus 5 by 8 on the number line. So we have represented minus 8 by So we have represented minus 5 by 8 on the number line. Now comes to the part 3. So in the part 3 we have minus 7 by 4. Now numerator is greater than the denominator. That means this is an improper fraction. First of all I am going to divide it. That is 4 1s are 4, remainder 3. So now I can write it as 1 is to 3 by 4 in the mixed fraction. Now this is 1 and this is the part of the next number that is 2. That means this lies between 1 and 2. The number we have in the negative sign, so this number lies between minus 1 and minus 2. So now this is the number line, this is 0, this is minus 1. And this one is the minus 2. Now we have to represent this 3 by 4 on this line. Now this one, minus 1 I can write it as minus 4 by 4. So if I am going to subtract sorry if I am going to divide then I am going to get the value minus 1. So this represent minus 4 by 4. So if this, this representing so if this representing minus 4 by 4 then I am going to write here this is minus 5 by 4, minus 6 by 4, minus 7 by 4, minus 8 by 4, minus 9 by 4 and so on. So we have to represent minus 7 by 4 on the number line. So this is the minus 7 by 4. So this is the number on the number line which we have to represent and this one is between minus 1 and minus 2. So this is the part 3. Now comes to the part 4. 
Now in the part 4 we have value 7 by 8. Now numerator is smaller than the denominator. That means this is a proper fraction. Now if this is a proper fraction then this one lies between 0 and 1. So this is 0. Now this is 1. Now for this one I can write this one as 8 by 8. So if I am going to divide it then I am going to get the value 1. So this is 8 by 8 then and I can write it 7 by 8, 6 by 8, 5 by 8, 4 by 8, 3 by 8, 2 by 8, 1 by 8 and this will become 0 by 8. So we have to represent 7 by 8. So this is the 7 by 8 on the number line. So this is the part 4. So with this one we have completed the question number 4. In the next video we are going to start with the question number 5.